here, excited to welcome you to the second edition of the Naked Pedal Report. So today's Naked Pedal Report is going to be on the Boss DS1. So let's get started. Follow me. Guys, it's all about the pedals. Welcome to the second edition of the Naked Pedal Report. The first edition was quite a hit with Miss Diana, who you can see behind me. So remember, it's all about the pedals. I don't want you fast forwarding to the end to see Miss Diana again. We're going to spend a little time checking out the Boss DS1. <laughs> So let's take a look at the enclosure. This is the classic Boss design. Cast aluminum, durable and lightweight, very functional. It's an A rated enclosure. All of my comments today will apply to any Boss pedal. They're all very similar. So let's take a look at the knobs, molded plastic, very simple. They're actually durable. Biggest issue is they get lost, they easily fall off the pots. See a lot of pedals with missing knobs. The PCB is good. You know, it's not awesome, strong enough. Uh, the solder traces are a little tricky for any of you who have tried to mod a boss pedal. You have to be a little bit careful. But it's a, uh, it's a B. Components, the uh, pots are fine. The DS1's got a couple of real size potentiometers here. Um, smaller size here on the level control, but still these are very good. No issues with these. One major point I'll make as it relates to Boss. Uh, the pots are a B, but the thing that pot Boss does better than anyone else is the uh, ribbon cable here which is connecting the pots back to the PCB. They have some sort of special goopy adhesive stuff that keeps these things secure and they never come undone. And When they do come undone they're a major pain in the behind. I've seen lots of very expensive pedals that use ribbon cable that is just terribly fragile and when it is it's just a major major difficulty battery cab is crappy it's a D these fail all the time any of you with boss pedals know they tear apart they fall off they come undone and I usually see them stapled together with scotch tape or band-aids, whatever the case might be, but uh, problematic because they're super cheap. The pots are good. Um, I already said the pots are good. Um, the jacks are good. Uh, Ajax, uh, closed jack design, perfectly fine. Wiring is decent. Little LED holder is good. The uh, components are they're nothing special. They're a C. They're small and cheap, and which results in a small and cheesy bland sound. And lots of mods are focused on improving some of the key components in the signal path to really provide a much richer sound. And it goes a long way in, in 
any mod, but especially with boss pedals. The switch for a boss pedal is a little flip-flop switch here. This is not the uh, big mechanical switch like we saw in the Rat, but it's very functional and very durable. These guys go on forever. This is a buffered circuit, so it's not true bypass, but it doesn't need to be. Uh, they don't suck tone, and if it sounds like they're sucking tone, it's usually because when you've got them engaged, the, uh, cir the circuit just sounds so crappy. Uh, let's see. Overall, a decent pedal out of the box. The sound is not good out of the box. It's a C minus, I would say, maybe a D. But the mod modability for this particular pedal, and again, many Boss pedals, is excellent. So, from a modability perspective, it's an A plus. Boss the S1. This is it. Thank you for joining me on the second edition of the Naked Pedal Report. See you guys later!